What is up, you guys? It is Parker here with Deco Exchange. Y'all, we've got another great tutorial out today, and I just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to our channel, like the video down below, and at the very least, y'all, leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Hope you enjoy. Okay, next project. <clears throat> Bucket. Y'all, let's make a really easy and simple centerpiece. All right, so I'm gonna use, so normally I would use a shish kebab stick, but the shish kebab stick would be a little thin for this project. So I'm gonna use a green floral stick And I'm going to work it right up the center of our floor de lis. Y'all, you want to get it at least a couple inches in there. If you don't, um, it could break pretty easy. All right, we're going to let that dry for just a second while we get our pick machine. We're going to trim this pretty short. All right, I'm gonna put a pick on the end of it. All right. Get that into the center of your bucket. That's noisy. All right, get our glue around there. So we're going to let that glue dry for just a second while we make a Mardi Gras bow. So let's make our bow. Yep. All right. So we want our bow to at least touch the ground in front of the pot. Then go about five and a half inches. Now let's put some of this dark glitter purple towards the bottom. So y'all, we're just making our loops. They're all about the same. Y'all, we might just have one loop of this purple right in the center left. Y'all, we probably don't need to double the pipe cleaner on this one. All right, let's get this tied off. Get it nice and tight. Get it a little fluffed out. Y'all, I'm gonna just wrap this right around that stem. All 
All right, I'm gonna work it over to the side just a little bit. These are basically just pines that are in Mardi Gras colors. So they're perfect for inexpensive filler for your Mardi Gras projects. Just trim them short. And we're gonna start hiding some of this foam. Right, so each one of these were like less than 75 cents a piece. Compared to using a really expensive spray or something like that. All right, we probably could use two more. All right, I wanna bring some of those pines out to the front. Now I will probably add one down here at the bottom so that it sticks out. So on the bottom one, I'm going to leave a little bit of stem then bend it back down. Right, so that way underneath that bow, you still get a little bit of the pine. Like that. Y'all, then I've got this leftover spray that I can cut down into smaller pieces. All right, look how fun those little balls are in there. So y'all, I'm gonna leave this one long. So that we can put it right here behind the bow in front of the floor to lay. All right, so let's push the bow up just a little bit. Figure out where we can put it. So y'all, those little balls just added a little bit of height 
So there's a thing in Louisiana called the Mardi Gras bead dog. So you take your Mardi Gras beads and you break them into smaller pieces. So we're going to start with one that has six little beads on it. Then we're going to have one that has four little beads on it. All right, we're going to go two beads in and wrap our beads around it so that he's got a little tail and two little legs. Another four. And we'll just go up to the next one. Okay, so now we've got a little tail, little legs. And now we need two. All right, go up to his little head and twist that on there. Uh oh. I got one extra bead, y'all. I should have put two in his body. Okay. Y'all, these beads are weird. I'm going to cut off his little feet. The string was like too long. Okay. Let me get him a little platform to stand on. And now we have a little Mardi Gras puppy. Y'all, and for my Mardi Gras pieces, I always like to hide a little Mardi Gras dog in all the pieces. So I'm gonna put him just kind of sitting in the floor de lis Put a little bit of glue on his feet and just secure him into the floor de lis So if you wanted to add Mardi Gras beads, you could take them and then take a floral pin. It's like a little U pin. Then we can just put that little U pin right into the styrofoam. And then just kind of let those beads hang down in the front of your bucket. just to kind of give a little bit of character in there. All right, y'all, I think that's it.